Nobody's going to mistake me for Warren Buffett, but like most middle class Americans, I have a significant amount of money socked away in the stock market building a retirement nest egg. I also happen to have an MBA. Put those two things together, and I should be thrilled by the news Rupert Murdoch's putting together a new cable financial channel. Well, not exactly, because I'll see my cable rates go up to add it, and I'll just get 24-7 of the same slot Fox News has been serving up already. Neil Cavuto is Fox News' managing business editor. His show Friday gave me a sneak preview of what I'm in store for. Like this so-called Fox News alert. If journalism has awards for shallow crap, here's my top nominee. Meanwhile, another alert for you. No bail. Six Muslim men accused of trying to massacre soldiers at Fort Dix ordered held with bail today in a New Jersey courtroom. Prosecutors saying that all six born outside of America and three here illegally pose a flight risk. They were busted Monday trying to buy AK-47s and M-16 assault weapons. Well, my next guest says he had a run-in with two of the terror suspects at a Pennsylvania tavern, not all that far from here. And let's just say they were messing with the wrong guy. With us now is Army veteran Wolf. This is his nickname, Big Wolf Para. Well, good to see you. Thank you very much. They, they, were, they start talking in a foreign language, and I said, yo, guys, this is America, bro. Speak English. You but know. they were making fun of you. you sensed yeah, that they were making I, yeah fun of you. I sensed that they were talking about me and somehow that they so were measuring themselves. Why did you say something. that when you knew that was going on? Um, I, I tried to bring a little fun to the, the festivities because there was other people there and I didn't want any problems. You know, I'm not, it's a small town and there's no room for error there. You know, yeah. it's a nice little town. Your friends say you're slow to anger, but when you're angered, man, watch out. Yeah. So, so they were saying a lot, they were rapping your patriotism, they were rapping your American flag. Um, and then what happened? It just escalated? Uh, no, I started talking to them about what America was. And I asked them what they were doing here, where they were from, if they planned on living here. They told me they were visiting the area. They, they told were actually me, using a shooting range nearby. Yeah, right? yeah. The, the shooting range is approximately three miles from this, the location where they're at, probably two and a half miles from their home right. where they were staying at. And the word was they were lousy shooters. Yeah, I heard, I've talked to a lot of people that, and, and read a lot of reports on how good they shot, and it wasn't anything that the Fort Dix soldiers could ever be in fearful of, from what I understood. And typical of right-wing Fox News in general, any so-called business news is going to be infested with grossly unbalanced political topics like this one. Just imagine the horror in Condoleezza Rice's face <laughs> when she realizes what's As going on. As you were just like holding her down and and. and you know, that ain't the worst of it. You've heard this again and again. Shock jocks Opie and Anthony apologizing today for sexually explicit comments made not just about the Secretary of State, but also the First Lady. Now, meantime, 60 Minutes under fire for asking Mitt Romney and his wife if they were ever engaged in premarital sex. I don't know what the journalism is there. And in Baltimore, a city official responsible for stopping graffiti quoted as saying, it did his heart good to see globs of paint tossed on a billboard of Rush Limbaugh. So is it open season on the GOP? Speaking of Rush Limbaugh, it's always open season on Democrats on his radio show. But the irony here is we don't know if liberals are behind the defacing of Rush's image. Typically, it's a crime associated with juveniles, though my first thought it was the act of a conservative embarrassed over Rush's recent race baiting where he called Barack Obama a Hafrican or when he played the tasteless Barack the Magic Negro on his radio show. By the way, I play part of that clip at the end of this video. But, getting back to Fox Business News, I've got to be fair. Because they do indeed have business experts. Though in this case, they talk about something outside their area of expertise. All right, this Fox News alert. Americans abroad on high alert after a report that terrorists are planning to target U.S. tourists in Germany. U.S. government offices and military bases, they're beefing up security. Air marshals securing the skies. Terrorists still, of course, a reality. So is this any time to dismantle the Homeland Security Department? Well, that is what New York Senator Chuck Schumer is talking about. He says it is not worth the money. Is he right? Let us ask Ephraim Taylor, the CEO of City Capital Corp., Dr. Robert uh, Froelich with Deutsche Asset Management, New York Post business writer Tracy Burns, and Tobin Smith, editor of Change Wave Research. Even on Fox's crappy business programs, businesses get discussed, like here. But are you going to trust a network that can't even spell stocks right? Meanwhile, Walmart is pulling trans fats this week, Starbucks slimming down its frappuccinos. But my next guest says it is not their job to help you lose weight. It's yours. He should know. He lost 156 pounds 
in about two years, turning his life around in the process. That's the before and after. With us now is Charles D'Angelo. He's the founder of StartToLose.com. Charles, good to see you. Congratulations, by the way. Th thank you so much, Neil. It's a pleasure to be here with you today, sir. You know, it's interesting, too, Charles. This comes at a time when everyone's, you know, getting rid of trans fats, and everyone is saying it's the fast food company's fault, it's the cereal makers, it's the cookie makers. You're saying just the opposite. What do you mean? That's right, sir. Uh, businesses are in business. Corporations are together to be able to make money and be efficient. That's their job. I think it's wonderful that many, many corporations now are proactive in trying to promote overall wellness in our society, but that is not their fault that our youth, our adult population is suffering from, from obesity. Finally, it's a Murdoch trademark to feature tabloid sleaze. A slice of cheesecake, anyone? Gone are the old-fashioned barbers and those swirling glass signs. In, gals who look more like they should be working for Hooters, pampering their male clients from head to toe. This is the rage right now. They are called the Knockout Girls, and we've got three knockouts with us today. Kristen Allen, Casey Winzan, and Lily Benitez. Welcome to all of you. Hi, now. Hi. Uh, Hi. Casey, to you first. This is taken off. I, I understand that these uh, shops are opening fast and furious. And I don't know what the appeal is. Could you tell me? Well, we're just trying to create a comfortable atmosphere for our men clients. Um, not so much to where we're showing off our selves, but, you know, just a fun, sporty atmosphere for them to come in and chill and have a beer and watch sports. All right. Now, Kristen, they get a free beer, right, when they come in, so you don't have to worry about liquor yes. licenses or anything like that. But they get you cutting their hair, right? Isn't that the big right. girl? Right. Um, you know, we are, we are cutting their hair um, and giving free beer. We also provide full um, grooming services for men, full service salon for manicures, pedicures, waxing, um, and also massage. And Lily is actually a massage therapist. Uh, Lily, um, the massages, how do they go? They're great. Um, actually, you know, we're all very professional we you know we let them know that we're all very well educated in our field startling development in the business world we'll have more after this and there ain't no cash in the, in the collection plate. There ain't gonna be no cash money. No rock and roll. Before we go to break, I got a quick question. Now you well, I do. I just, you think Hillary Clinton could, could use one square of toilet paper? 